Let's see if there's good news uh, from the crypto space now with Ladi, even though they're still undecided in spite of our MPC decision. Short answer, no good news yet. <laughs> <laughs> At one. this point. That yeah. one hard and yeah, straight. And really short. Yeah, I know. Because uh, uh, it's uh, right now we're seeing major cryptocurrencies losing you know, major support at this time, turning that support into Why? resistance, you know, at this point, a, a whole lot of things, you know, affecting this market at this point. Oh, okay. U.S. debt ceiling negotiations way Yeah, the 1st of market. June is very close. It's right there. Down. We can see 1st of June. Yeah. It's right there. And Don't worry, we'll take fears. care of it. We'll take care of it, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. And he mm -hmm. says we'll take care of the uh, U.S. debt ceiling. <laughs> Let's look at the, the top cryptocurrencies we track. Now we see Bitcoin there uh, losing that uh, 26,300 level 1.81% down uh, this morning. Ethereum also losing that 1,835 level. 2.14% bigger drop uh, than Bitcoin this morning. Which uh, read right across board with BNB. Uh, we're eyeing that $300 level for uh, the Binance um, token for the uh, exchange there. 1.18% down. Cardano, 1.23%. And we see XRP not left out, even though they're scoring points uh, against the US SEC uh, at this moment. That it's down too with all the volatility that we see in the market. Let's look at the top gainers counts. We see uh, Sandbox managing to hold above there, 4.03%. Uh, Let's bring in Illuminate additional financial market analyst. Uh, hello, Illuminate. Good morning. Uh, good morning, Ladi. Thanks for having me. Yeah, uh, so it's a, it's a bloody market, it's very, uh, <laughs> market. this morning. Yeah. What's going on, Illuminate? How are you seeing it? Well, well just like you rightly said, uh, it's a bit... It's been a bit gloomy, you know, in the crypto markets and other asset classes, that's quite commodities. You can see gold running uh, below the 2,000 ounce and also Bitcoin uh, refusing to break above the uh, 27,000 uh, resistance level. And pretty much, you know, there are a lot of uh, intrigues behind the markets. You know, first of all, uh, the dollar index is rallying at its monthly highs, despite the fact that uh, the U.S. debt limit and the Fitch uh, rating agencies uh, downgraded uh, debt uh, U.S. debt uh, assets, but still at that, investors are really keen that uh, the Republicans and the uh, Joe Biden administration will put things in order. So that has really uh, put the uh, liquidity crunch across risk assets, particularly in the crypto market. And you could see altcoins dragging down and um, the crypto market valuation above one trillion. But having said that, also you need to look at the effect of regulators and scam. The recent data that just came out from the United Kingdom shows that crypto scams are on the record high. Uh, if you look at the latest report, it shows that over 300 million pounds uh, worth of uh, crypto followers uh, happened in 2020. So these are things that really weigh on the market. But having said that, you know, uh, you need to look at interesting innovations across the space. We're seeing a couple of big giants like Microsoft, um, Deloitte, uh, going uh, into the digital asset space. They're also trying to create their own blockchain. The gaming industry is also moving on. But with all this, you know, uh, you could really still point to the fact that regulatory and the case of fraud, as Binance really recalled yesterday that they helped the U.S. authorities uh, freeze about 4.4 million in uh, linked to North Korea cybercrime. So these are things really put in some new cloud. But long term, Bitcoin is up more than 60 percent this year. You can't really bet against the bullish run in the long term. But right now, yeah, the correction has been long overdue. Right. We always see that correction when there's a, a, a bullish run in most markets. But uh, let's look at some other um, bullish news at this point. Another thing to look forward to, uh, June 1st, you see Hong Kong there, uh, they're releasing a new regulatory framework that will allow crypto retail trading in Hong Kong. And uh, everyone's, uh, most investors are looking at this as bullish you know, for China, yeah, most definitely. of those uh, China tokens. So we're looking forward to that June 1st. But uh, tell us about this whole regulatory framework from Hong Kong. Yeah, I think it's a very good step. You know, if you look at the dynamics in the Chinese market, China happens to be the second largest economy in the world and definitely has the world's largest middle class population. So, uh, you know, if you recall uh, when the Chinese government banned um, Bitcoin mining and uh, crypto related uh, um, entities that, that had a negative effect on the market. But well, this seems to be a positive, you know, turnaround. Uh, but it's still left to be seen because the body language of the Chinese government has always been controlled. So, uh, you know, investors are still really pricing in on how things will play out. But, you know, with the framework coming out, it tells you one thing that the uh, asset class definitely is not going to be um, um, suffering from extension. We've seen that in the European Union. The European Union is also regulating the asset. 
So we're just waiting for the Americans. Uh, but I think in the long term, uh, I think this regulation will definitely help the sanity because, you know, like we previously um, highlighted, the scams and the dubious entities taking advantage of the, uh, um, the unregulated space are somehow put a dark cloud on the space. So this is a positive uh, for, for markets and stakeholders because this will definitely bring in banks, will bring in um, other traditional uh, financial institutions to take in the market and further prop up liquidity. I know most investors in this market, they like to chase uh, some new, new narratives. We've seen the uh, meme coin um, narrative. That has, uh, I don't know if that's ex extinguished yet, yeah, still happening at this uh, point with most of those meme coins um, rallying. So uh, with this whole um, regulatory framework coming from Hong Kong, um, are we expecting some kind of uh, narrative from this for maybe China-related coins uh, trading on, on, on in the market? Definitely. I think, uh, you know, the Chinese also has uh, some authority in the digital space, you know, the e yang just like uh, the e space, you know, definitely they will see, seem to put some collaboration and they also have some exposure in the NFT market. So definitely we'll see coins that have significant exposure, exposure to the Asian markets uh, propping up, you know. Uh, but having said that, you know, it's still a bit tricky to see how these things play out in the long term. You know, the Chinese are also trying to uh, weaken the dollar domination with the dollarization and the BRICS uh, formation with the Russians. So uh, I think with the crypto market, one will be surprised to see how this will play out with all their agenda. Right, all eyes still on King Dollar uh, at this point. Thank you so much, uh, Olumide Additional Financial Market Analyst. Thank you for having me.